How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. Today I'm going to be doing a really simple video and that is how to make your battery last longer on the Galaxy Note 5. So I've had this phone for probably about a week and although it is an incredible phone and I love so much about it, um, the battery just does not seem to last very long and it's a bit irritating. Uh, so I was in search of uh, a solution how do I get this darn battery to last longer um, and let me show you what my answer to this was so um, this app right here called clean master is the business this app is what's going to stretch your battery to last so much longer now for those of you techie guys out there um, you probably already know that Samsung has um, their own version of this app which is called the smart manager now uh, find it here it is smart manager right here now depending on who your carrier is you may not have this app this app is actually only available uh, I think only certain carriers uh, gave this app access because of certain things it does to the phone uh, just to show you what it does so uh, battery storage RAM whatever you can hit clean all and what that's supposed to do is to kind of clear your RAM out and um, there's even an option under RAM where you can go in and turn off certain apps running in the background which is all supposed to like you know make your phone like you know more efficient well I tried this the first couple of days I tried to use this app it didn't help it wasn't enough um, so I went and downloaded clean master and let me preface me talking about this by saying that I'm not paid by Clean Master to endorse this app. This is literally just something that has worked for me and that's the only reason I'm making this video. So anyway, Clean Master is a really awesome app and I've heard mixed things. Some people are not big fans of it, but um, I like it. Uh, again, it's, it's, um, it's an app that does a whole lot and I don't use all the features of it, but let me tell you what's gonna make your Note 5 uh, battery stretch. So the first thing is, uh, once a day I do, I try to, once or twice, w once every two days or once a day, I try to go in and clear out my junk files. That's the first thing. What it does is it'll search the phone for any crap that's uh, like, temporary files or, or certain files that apps create or use really quickly just to you know like for example Instagram you know you're going through these pictures so there's all these temporary files that are accrued so I clean this out um, so that's one thing and then going into a phone boost and this is a really great feature because um, if your phone is overheating which you know Although lovely design, now that you can't take the battery out, um, you know, certain times with charging or using GPS or using a lot of features of the phone, it will overheat. So this app will actually show you the temperature your phone is and it will actually help you to cool down your phone, um, which is very useful. Again, like I drive a lot for work and when I use GPS, my phone heats up a lot. So first thing I'll do is I'll check the computer and have it cool the phone down and then I also do a phone boost and this also usually will go through and close out any apps that are running in the background that you're not aware of that are slowing your phone down um, so uh, this is really it just using this app utilizing this is gonna really uh, stretch your battery on your note 5 again like my phone lasts all day now where before I was getting four or five hours of use and I was at like 20%. Like with this app, I can go a whole day and maybe by the end of the day, I'm on like 30% versus before when it was like, start using the phone at eight by one o'clock, I'm already like really lower than I should be. Now, there's some other cool things that this app does. Now, one of them is it, it'll let you know if there are any specific apps that are constantly uh, running in the background or restarting over and over again and this is another reason why this app is really great um, even with games for example these are three games I play um, uh, brain dots words with friends and chess these apps tend to run very frequently because they're tied into your friends and what your friends are doing so what it'll do is it'll actually let you know hey like so it'll you'll get a notification in the notification panel and it'll say there's none right now 
but it, it, it'll say something like, oh, you know, you've got these, these apps or these games that are utilizing a lot of memory, let's put them in a special folder and it basically keeps an eye on those apps to make sure they're not utilizing more power than they should. So that's why this folder has this little brush because it's one of those, those um, uh, folders that are basically utilizing and it's controlling those apps. Now another thing, this is really important, Again, if an app is constantly restarting over and over again, that will also drain your battery. Now this was really crazy, and I'm sorry if I'm talking long, but hopefully I'm making sense to somebody out there. Um, there are a couple of apps I was using frequently. One is called TuneIn, and one is called iHeartRadio. Those are both um, apps you can stream the radio. And what's crazy is these apps were restarting over and over and over again. I only knew it because I would get a pop-up from Cleanmaster and it would say, you have some apps that are constantly restarting and it's causing your phone to slow down. In fact, with the TuneIn app, it was taking, literally, it would restart like 11 times or 17 times. And I'm not, and like, mind you, when, when this happens, you don't see it because it's all happening in the background of your phone. And so, those two apps plus this app, which I use a lot, which is Audible, it's a, a audio audiobook app. This was also having the same problem, constantly restarting over and over again. And so that's the reason why I love this app so much is because just by deleting those couple of apps, it allowed my phone to run a lot smoother. So you have an option where you can just delete those apps or you can have it quarantine those apps so that they're not constantly running and restarting. So ultimately guys, I know it sounds so simple, but download this app, it's free. And this app is one gonna help you uh, keep track of the, the storage of your phone. Cause remember, now we don't have any micro uh, SD. So storage is really important. This app, again, just by going to uh, junk files, you're gonna recover a ton of extra space just by using this app. It'll help you delete all those temporary files that again, you don't see, but that are sitting on your phone. On my Note 4, I started using this app and literally I recovered four gigs of data of just crap temporary files I didn't even know was there that was clogging my phone up. So uh, Note 4, Note 5, this has been a really big go-to app. Um, and again, even the little phone boost, they even have a cool little, um, uh, one tap boost right here, which is I'll just tap this during the day and this will um, Just speed the phone up. It'll close out any apps that you know Don't need to be running and it, it kind of saves me some RAM So and I want to prep this before I end this video that I have not been paid by clean master to endorse this app In fact, I've never even heard from them I just use the app on a personal basis and it works really great and so I had to tell you guys about it because I was so surprised that literally within a day of using it, I noticed such a huge difference uh, of my Note 5 and the battery is lasting so much longer. So I know a lot of people out there were probably skeptical about getting this phone just because of all the things that we lost. Expandable memory, you know, the removable battery, the IR blaster. But once you get the battery under control where it's manageable, like everything else is a wrap. It's literally like once the, the battery thing is, is, is in check, like the phone runs great, the screen is incredible, and I mean, it's just a super fast phone. So you guys, I know this was an eight minute video. I don't know how many of you guys actually stuck around to the end, but I hope you did find this helpful. Make sure you like the video, favorite it, and share it with someone, um, and keep watching. We'll have more videos coming up for Note 5. All right, have a good one.